in the operation of some crypto systems, usually public key infrastructures, a certificate revocation list is a list of certificates that have been revoked, and therefore, entities presenting those certificates should no longer be trusted. Revocation states, there are two different states of revocation defined in RFC 3280, revoked a certificate is irreversibly revoked if, for example, it is discovered that the certificate authority had improperly issued a certificate, or if a private key is thought to have been compromised. Certificates may also be revoked for failure of the identified entity to adhere to policy requirements, such as publication of false documents, misrepresentation of software behavior, or violation of any other policy specified by the CA operator or its customer. The most common reason for revocation is the user no longer being in sole possession of the public key. Hold, this reversible status can be used to note the temporary invalidity of the certificate. If, in this example, the private key was found and nobody had access to it, the status could be reinstated, and the certificate is valid again, thus removing the certificate from future CRLs. Reasons for revocation Reasons to revoke a certificate according to RFC 5280p 69 are, unspecified, key compromise, ca compromise, affiliation changed, superseded, cessation of operation, certificate hold, removed from CRL, privilege withdrawn, are a compromise, OBS value 7 is not used. Publishing revocation lists, a CRL is generated and published periodically, often at a defined interval. A CRL can also be published immediately after a certificate has been revoked. The CRL is always issued by the CA which issues the corresponding certificates. All CRLs have a lifetime during which they are valid. This time frame is often 24 hours or less. During a CRL's validity period, it may be consulted by a PKI-enabled application to verify a certificate prior to use. To prevent spoofing or denial of service attacks, CRLs usually carry a digital signature associated with the CA by which they are published. To validate a specific CRL prior to relying on it, the certificate of its corresponding CA is needed, which can usually be found in a public directory. The certificates for which a CRL should be maintained are often X509 slash public key certificates, as this format is commonly used by PKI schemes. Revocation versus expiration Expiration dates are not a substitute for a CRL. While all expired certificates are considered invalid, not all unexpired certificates should be valid. CRLs or other certificate validation techniques are a necessary part of any properly operated PKI, as mistakes in certificate vetting and key management are expected to occur in real-world operations. In a noteworthy example, a certificate for Microsoft was mistakenly issued to an unknown individual who had successfully posed as Microsoft to the CA contracted to maintain the ActiveX publisher certificate system. Microsoft saw the need to patch their cryptography subsystem so it would check the status of certificates before trusting them. As a short-term fix, a patch was issued for the relevant Microsoft software specifically listing the two certificates in question as revoked. Problems with CRLs Best practices require that wherever and however certificate status is maintained, it must be checked whenever one wants to rely on a certificate. Failing this, a revoked certificate may be incorrectly accepted as valid. This means that to use a PKI effectively, one must have access to current CRLs. This requirement of online validation negates one of the original major advantages of PKI over symmetric cryptography protocols, namely that the certificate is self-authenticating. Symmetric systems such as Kerberos also depend on the existence of online services. The existence of a CRL implies the need for someone to enforce policy and revoke certificates deemed counter to operational policy. If a certificate is mistakenly revoked, significant problems can arise. As the certificate authority is tasked with enforcing the operational policy for issuing certificates, they typically are responsible for determining if and when revocation is appropriate by interpreting the operational policy. The necessity of consulting a CRL prior to accepting a certificate raises a potential denial of service attack against the PKI. If acceptance of a certificate fails in the absence of an available valid CRL, then no operations depending upon certificate acceptance can take place. 
This issue exists for Kerbera systems as well, where failure to retrieve a current authentication token will prevent system access. No comprehensive solutions to these problems are known, though there are multiple workarounds for various aspects, some of which have proven acceptable in practice. An alternative to using CRLs is the Certificate Validation Protocol known as Online Certificate Status Protocol. OCSP has the primary benefit of requiring less network bandwidth, enabling real-time and near-real-time status checks for high-volume or high-value operations. As of Firefox 28, Mozilla have announced they are deprecating CRL in favor of OCSP. Authority Revocation Lists an authority revocation list is a form of CRL containing certificates issued to certificate authorities, contrary to CRLs which contain revoked end entity certificates. See also, Trusted Third Party, Web of Trust, Certificate Server, References. External links, RFC 3280, RFC 5280.